cavemen sharpened pieces of flint and used them to shave their facial hair. Modern man can simply go purchase a pack of razor blades for his shaver. While several styles of shavers and blades exist, many men believe the traditional type of razor blade gives the closest shave of them all. They're paper thin, yet sharp enough and strong enough to cut through the coarsest beard. Razor blades are made from a stainless steel strip that's a mere four one thousandths of an inch thick. The strip first enters a punching machine that stamps out the overall blade shape. These dull-edged blades to be are called blanks. At this stage of the process, the stainless steel is very soft, as pliable as paper, so they now harden and strengthen it through a four-step heat treatment process. Step one, they heat the blanks in a furnace to just over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 seconds. Step two, they briefly submerge them in cold water. This is called quenching. Step three, they chill them for about 20 seconds in a deep cooling chamber at a temperature of minus 58 Fahrenheit. All this progressively restructures the molecules, hardening the metal. However, the metal becomes brittle, necessitating reheating the blanks for 20 seconds. The now hard blanks then move through a printer, which applies the razor blade brand name. Gas flames instantly dry the wet ink. Now it's time for the blanks to become blades. They enter a grinding and polishing machine. Within it are three grinding stations which first sharpen the contour, then produce two super sharp cutting edges. The blades then pass through a polishing station that removes burrs left by the grinding. Until now, the blades have been connected to each other. As they exit this machine, a knife separates them. The factory's quality control lab pulls samples from the production line and checks, among other criteria, the quality of the grinding and geometrics of the cutting edges. Then, every single blade the factory produces is examined for cutting edge defects. Technicians assemble blades in packs of up to 800, then shine fluorescent light on the two cutting edge sides. This makes defects visible. Blades that pass this inspection are washed with solvent to remove contaminants. Then dried. The now pristine razor blades go into a vacuum chamber. It draws a chromium-based coating onto the surface, rendering the cutting edges harder and more wear resistant. Next, spray nozzles apply a non-stick coating which will help the blades glide smoothly over the skin. To adhere the coating permanently to the blade surface, they bake it on for 20 minutes at about 660 degrees Fahrenheit. Quality control technicians test samples again, this time to ensure the blades meet strength specifications. This test machine measures the force required for the blade to cut a thick wad of wet paper to a certain depth. Back in production, workers submerge the razor blades in organic oil for about half an hour. This provides additional protection against corrosion. On the packaging line, the equipment wraps each blade individually in wax paper. The wax coating on the paper helps protect the razor blade against corrosion during storage. Wax paper is also stronger than regular paper, so the blade's razor-sharp edges don't cut through it. The edge of these razor blades are about 10 times thinner than a human hair. A blade typically lasts about six shaves, so the average male goes through quite a few, considering that over the course of his lifetime, he'll have spent more than 3,300 hours shaving his face. 
Next Saturday, Oddity.